Good morning. morning. It is Thursday. No, Friday. It is Friday, <laughs> April 16th. The week has gotten away from you guys, sorry. Yeah. Friday, April 16th, we're talking about empowered by God's love. And it comes from 1 John 4, 7. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. Again, that is 1 John 4, 7. Let's pray today. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to pray this morning at the beginning. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day that you've given to us. Thank you for the warm weather that's coming. Thank you, God, for choosing us. Lord, that uh, we can love you and that we can follow you and be your children. We thank you, God, for your empowerment and uh, the love that you pour in us through us. That, Lord, not only can we... Uh, love ourselves because of what you've done in us, but we can love others and we can be empowered by that love to, to reach the world. I pray that you'll help us today to do that very thing and help us to have a great day today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, talking about empowered by God's love out of 1 John 4, 7, it says, whenever God's love and grace that captivate your heart, you learn among other life-giving truths that his plans for you are for good and not for evil that he is for you and not against you, and that he is ever so trustworthy. That's life-changing, and it gives you a real source of fuel when loving others seems too hard to do. Let's face it, in our own power, we wouldn't do such a great job of loving one another. But the good news is that the power that doesn't come from us or our good behavior or how nice we are to each other we don't need to put on a performance in an attempt to earn God's love and approval. Instead, we choose to love because he loved us. It's a want to, not a have to. As scripture says, dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. In 1 John 3, 18, your good works of loving others are empowered by his love for you. And those words and actions are your grateful purpose or response to that love. Knowing you are already deeply loved, valued, and accepted by God frees you to give you give of your heart to others for their good and God's glory. So thank you for the love and acceptance you offer me, Lord. Show me how to genuinely share your love with others, showing them what your love has meant for me. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Steve. Hope you guys are having a great day. Well, talking about empowering, empowered by God's love. You know, I, I'm so thankful for God's love. Amen. Because I know that in myself, you know, we, um, and I've said this before, as, as the world knows it, we have a definition of love, but it's not God's definition of love. Um, love can only happen truly the way God wants it to if he's working in us and through us. Because his love is a far greater love than the world's love. And I'm so thankful for his love because it helps me to be who I am, to Amen. love others. Amen. Amen. And when we know, I, I sometimes look at my life and I think it is definitely not perfect, <laughs> mm. but God loves me. So with the same amount of grace that God gives me, I need to give others. And so I need to love them past their problems past their mistakes past their issues because that's what god does to me he loves me past mine yeah and we leave love each other past ours amen amen so you know it's god's empowerment that gives us what we need to be who we need to be you know that's what's awesome because we know that ourselves and we've said this before we know we're not perfect we make our mistakes and and we sin but God empowers us to love and he empowers us to, to overcome the sin in our lives and to receive grace and mercy and forgiveness. And I'm so thankful for that because in myself, there's no way that that can happen yeah. in this world without God's power, without his sacrifice, without all he has done for us. So it's, I'm so grateful to be empowered by his love. So I'm going to read that verse again, 1 John 4, 7, before we close this. But it says, let us love one another, for love comes from God. So, amen. amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you for your love. Thank you that your love is immeasurable. Yes. That it is unending. 
That it uh, never leaves us, Lord. You're always watching over us. Thank you for your forgiveness for the times that we disappoint or we choose the wrong choices or do the wrong things. The times that we don't love. Forgive us for that and help us, Lord, to love one another as you have loved us. Please thank you for every opportunity we have to show love to others. Help us just to have open eyes and open ears today to see opportunities to share your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, it's good to be with you guys. Mona, Charles, I see you guys jumped on. A bunch of others were on too. Susan, good to see you guys this morning. Thanks for joining us today to talk about being empowered by God's love. Remember, have a great Friday. We're coming into the weekend. And uh, just remember to keep looking up. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Keep your eyes on what's going on. I mean, it's it's awesome what uh, is taking place right now. And I don't mean that. And I guess I mean that tongue-in-cheek because in one sense, what's going on all over our world is kind of crazy. But when we see it fulfilling Scripture, it's exciting and awesome because we know God's at work and that he is still on the throne. Yep. We don't have to worry or be anxious, but look forward to what God has. So have a great day. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep looking up. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.